It's incredibly surreal, Grant, and good to talk with you this very somber day. And, of course, Secretary of Defense James Mattis delivering a powerful and um, just a, a speech that goes right to the core of the issue. Uh, an amazing, amazing uh, military mind for our time. He gets it. And, you know, Grant, it, it's it's crazy because 16 years ago, um, I was a 21-year-old new mom who was freelancing from home, and I had a baby uh, who was sitting in the floor playing as we watched the towers fall on live television. And 16 years later, here we are. Radical Islamic terrorism still has not stopped. And just five years ago, radical Islamic terrorism struck yet again when it killed uh, for brave Americans in Benghazi. And, of course, for that, we will never forget either. Yep. Uh, 16 years ago today, I was in New York, Dana, working for WNBC, running towards the towers. For two weeks, I had the taste of sheetrock and death in my mouth that I could not get out of my mouth. That was a very small price to pay. And, and, and I will never, ever forget, Dana, the faces that I saw of those people that were fleeing uh, the towers falling, that brutal smoke cloud that we've gotten to see all too often. Uh, and sadly, I still see those faces on an all too regular basis, whether it's in Europe or mm. whether it's here at home. They're always the same when right. terror strikes. And, and I want to make a point about everything that we, because there's a lot I know that we're, that we're all discussing today with uh, post-Hurricane Harvey and, of course, the aftermath of Hurricane Irma and then Benghazi and 9-11 today. And I hope that we can focus on what common ground that we do have instead of the differences that we have. And I hope that people take these, 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 uh, these catastrophes to heart and realize that. But I also want to make a note here, too. Um, today, I really don't care about uh, political party affiliations. I really don't care about uh, power jockeying in Washington, D.C. I don't care about any of the petty political fights. What I do care about is that we have an administration and people can criticize it all they want to and they can find fault with it just like they can with any political administration because politics are that of men and women and humanity is, is all, you know, we're not perfect, we're imperfect people. Uh, but I will say that this administration has made some really smart moves. People like uh, Secretary of Defense General James Mattis, John Kelly, and many other individuals who know the mindset of the enemy. They know the mindset of radical Islamic terrorism, which has killed thousands of Americans. And I trust this administration to make the decisions that it needs to in order to keep Americans safe. And I think looking back 16 years ago, looking back five years ago, Grant, I think that's one thing for all of the differences that we as Americans have. You want someone who can choose the right people to guide them in this new era where it's seems that terror is all around and that we are dealing with threats to our national security in a very different way. And on that, we can come to terms of agreement. Yeah. You know, Dana, when we watched Hurricane Harvey and people come together and Hurricane Irma, people come together, I remember after spending two weeks in New York City uh, following the days following 9-11 and returning to my home in Connecticut at the time, every single house in every single neighborhood flew an American flag. Now, we know that is a state that, that typically does not agree with us ideologically on, on politics, but even in a state like Connecticut, they flew flags everywhere. And I think people need to remember what it was like to come together as a nation. And now, after Harvey and Irma, maybe, just maybe, it is a harsh reminder that we do have the ability uh, to come together as one. I think that's a great point, Grant. I remember that. And I remember that you couldn't even buy an American flag at a store because they were all sold out. Uh, it was amazing. There were flags on every home, every business, all across the United States. And that is something that we learned. We learned to come together post 9-11. We learned those weeks after was w America was so incredibly united. And look, I know that people are fighting over free speech. I know that people are fighting over racial issues. I wish that everybody could stop for a minute and realize that first and foremost, we are Americans. We are Americans who were united by the same principle of supporting and loving that animating spirit of freedom. We are Americans, every single one of us, who have in some way contributed to the, this, amazing, this amazing experiment in our republic, this constitutional process. And I wish that we could all realize that we have more in common than we have apart. And I know I say this as someone, Grant, I'm a brawler. You, we all know this. So are you. And we like, I mean, we go out there and we, we talk about this stuff day in and day out. But I'm going to tell you what, I love the fact that, that we were all united, people of all political stripes, all religious faiths, all ethnicities, and that's the way it should be. We are Americans first and everything else comes second, third, fourth. Well, and that's what I wish we could get back to. Yep.
Yep, absolutely. And today is a day to remember that there are evil forces at play trying to divide this nation, whether it be terrorists, whether it be anarchists, whether it be natural disasters. Uh, it is proof that America has great resolve in Americans. And I know, Dana, you and I will not let this country be torn apart. It is always great to talk to you. No. Thank you. Always good to talk with you. And remember, and remember the words of George W. Bush standing there on that pile of rubble as he was surrounded by first responders. And he said, pretty soon they will all hear from us. Yeah. And they did, and they continue. They will do so with every threat. Well, I hear you, and the world hears you. And uh, I back you up, just as George Bush said that day as well.